I didn't think this would take me down the rabbit hole that it did, um, but it did. Hey, it's Ali, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome to my dark twisted fantasy. I'm just joking. Kinda. Um, <laughs> Dick Grayson, the OG boy wonder, Nightwing, the hero with a fat, juicy ass. If you know anything about Nightwing or the DC comics in general, especially within the last recent years, you'll know that Nightwing Dick Grayson has a bit of a <clears throat> reputation to say the least about some of his <clears throat> body parts namely the um <clears throat> gluteus maximus region and i i don't know what possessed me to look it up but i looked it up maybe it was a tiktok that i saw about like someone making a joke that an author made a joke at one point and now it's just the way that things have been yeah if you don't know dick grayson has a really big ass he does. He has a very thick ass and like people accentuate that on purpose. And today I want to talk about the weird little rabbit hole that I went down just trying to figure out why. <laughs> Where did it come from? Why is it here? And of course it's here to stay, but we can talk about that too. And there's definitely a twist I was like not expecting in this. So if you're ready for it, let's just get into it. If at any time you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe because I make videos like this all the time. Well, not like this. Honestly, this is like the first one I'm doing of this kind, this type of deep dive video essay. And if you like it, please let me know because I'm about to do more of these. I'm about to do more of these. So hype me up in the comments because I really want to do more of these. And if there's any topics that you want me to cover, let me know. But we're starting today with something as hilarious as Dick Grayson's butt. <laughs> so some of you may know the picture that broke the internet a few years back. And no, I'm not talking about Kim Kardashian. Absolutely not. I'm talking about Dick Grayson, Nightwing. Nicola Scott is the artist who drew that and it was for I think an anniversary anthology thing. I don't even remember. I just remember seeing that picture and going, uh, like that was on purpose. Like that was the first time I saw that and I went, oh, so we're doing this on purpose. So the artists know, they know, and yes, they do know that they're drawing Dick Grayson like that on purpose. This one little hair, she don't like me. But yeah, they're drawing Dick Grayson like that on purpose. And that was kind of the beginning at least in recent years. And when I looked it up, I expected to just be taken back to that 2019 picture and that's it. But it goes deeper than that. Like back to the 90s and Silver Age comics with Dick Grayson was wearing that Boogie Wonderland looking ass outfit. They had his ass popping in that as well. But Dick Grayson didn't make a statement with his assets. Yes, pun intended. Until around 2009 with the release of The Secret Six. Now, at the time, I had no idea what The Secret Six is. I have only very recently gotten into comics, so I had no idea what The Secret Six is. But it is a comic book run where in which Dick Grayson is in it, obviously. Actually, it he just cameos in it for like one issue, issue number nine. Like I said earlier, I was just way too lazy to look it up while I was filming. Um, it's Battle for the Cowl, issue number nine of The Secret Six. So yeah. Run by both Gail Scott, the artist, and the author, whose name I don't want to mess up here, Gail Simone. Now, the both of them worked in tandem on this. They tag teamed on this. They said, we're drawing Dick Grayson with a fat, juicy ass, and no one can fucking stop us. And the reasoning? It was very interesting. Very interesting on the reasoning. But before we get to that, we have to acknowledge that they set the standard. Like, the both of them set the standard for what now is how you draw Dick Grayson. If you draw Dick Grayson, Nightwing, without an ass, people are, rightly so, people are going to be concerned about what you are doing. Like, I really, I really try to rack my brain. Yeah. Wait, did Young Justice? See, now I got to look it up. Now I gotta look it up. Because I don't think there has been one iteration of Dick Grayson drawn by any artist in recent years where his ass is not popping. It's like almost blasphemy to do it. It's become a meme, but now it's like the standard. You have to draw him like that. I'm about to look up Nightwing from Young Justice. I need a full body picture, please. We don't get to see a picture of him turned around. Hello? That's a little rude. Okay, well he has... Am I the only one who Loki doesn't like the way Dick Grayson is drawn in Young Justice? 
like ge- like genuinely <laughs> i just i don't know he, it's not my favorite interpretation of dick grayson i can say that well physically physically i love his personality especially when robin i'm getting off track here but the point is i think that dick grayson nightwing from young justice is the only one in recent years that portrays him without an ass but to be honest i don't think anybody has an ass in that show so it's not necessarily any prominent thing but they can make it a thing next season if there is going to be a next season but anyway but why like that is the big question of the day i looked this up and i've got my answers but i needed to know why i needed to know why we draw dick grayson like this why they decided to shake up the ground and literally start a new precedent in dc comics like it started off as a meme sure but this goes all the way back to 2009 like this so there's something going on here uh so i looked more into it and i found an interview with gail simone where pretty much she talks about her reasoning behind it and i was not expecting it to be a political statement like at all <laughs> well number one as you can probably guess if i say the word political statement you can probably guess what it is female characters in comics have been sexualized since the, the fucking dawn of time since comics were being made uh <laughs> they were being sexualized in ways that like were very odd to say the least have you ever seen those like catwoman or like poison ivy like thing it just they would always be sexualized and contorted in these really weird and unnatural poses specifically meant to show off you know their boobs and their butt and whatever uh so what gail simmons some i keep saying her name wrong oh my god gail simone and nicola scott what they decided to do was pretty much do that to dick grayson and i don't i I don't know why they chose Dick Grayson of all people. Like, maybe it just seemed like the right thing to do. He's young, like, around the same ages as these people. Well, actually, no, because Poison Ivy and Catwoman are definitely older than Nightwing. But I guess maybe Batman was too much. So they were just like, ah, you know, Dick Grayson, it makes sense. He's a gymnast. He gotta. He has a gymnast body. So to have a gymnast body, I guess you gotta have cake. Because have you ever seen a gymnast without cake? No, I didn't think so. So maybe that's the reason why they chose him. Like she even said, and I quote, Nightwing has the most famous ass in all of comic books. Sorry, everyone say sorry to Captain America. You no longer have America's ass. That is Nightwing. And I agree. I agree. I'm sorry, Chris Evans. I love you. But have y'all seen Nightwing's ass? I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Gail Simone went on to say in her interview that she essentially made him sexy pretty much to appeal to a wider audience to be like you know we get women superhero characters who are sexy all the time and honestly personally i don't have an issue with that as long as it doesn't detract from them being a superhero like as long as they are still a superhero and are still respected and revered as such i don't mind if they're a little sexy you know what i mean and I guess she just thought, like, yeah, it should go both ways. Like, why not? And so she drew Dick Grayson like that. And apparently she got a lot of, like, shit for it, for making him look sexy. And it's like, why? He's literally a gymnast with a gymnast body doing acrobats in a tight skin-tight suit all over Bloodhaven and Gotham. Like, why not, babes? Why not? It's a little weird. It's a little weird. And of course, as you may or may not know, uh, comics is still a very like male, white male dominated field, of course, both in the creation of comics and the people who read them. And something that comic books actually struggle with a lot is bringing in new people who, you know, want to get into comics. And I'm here to tell you from experience, most of my friends are either like POC or on the LGBT like spectrum somewhere like babes. We like comic books. We like comic book characters. And every time I try it, I, every day, I recruit more and more people into my comic book legion because comic books are so good and they're so fun. People like Gail Scott, Gail Scott, oh my God, now I'm just mixing up their names. People like Gail Simone and Nicola Scott, they really wanted to bring in new people into a wider audience. And if every other page you're looking at as a woman you know, looking at, you know, Catwoman twisted and contorted in a way so both her ass and her boobs are shown at the same time. And while you may be into that, because, you know, maybe, you know, women, it's Pride Month, you know, but you may be into that, but, like, some people aren't. And some people want that wider array of characters to look at and be in sexy poses. And it's just kind of like, why not? 
you know why are we gatekeeping this to just men get to look at sexy women maybe women want to look at sexy men maybe women want to look at sexy women too you know and in a way that like makes fucking sense also <laughs> though i will admit the first couple of like <laughs> pictures that I saw of her drawings of Dick Grayson were also in those very contorted poses I think that was like more of a statement to say hey look we can do it too uh but honestly I wasn't expecting this to take like a really like feminist stance I like when I looked this up I was like oh they're just gonna say like I saw on TikTok it started off as a joke and now people just kind of ran with it because it makes sense for his character but like now getting the backstory that this was kind of like a fuck you to like sexist comics and I, I don't know I just find that really cool I just find that really cool that it was kind of like a fuck you to like all the people who want to draw comic book characters that don't think <sighs> like we want sexy men too damn I want sexy men and women god damn I can't get both and that's it that's literally the story it's not a very long one if you thought it was going to be it's not but it really was a surprising one I was really surprised to see that like this kind of came out of like a need to expand comics in their what they're talking about the interview goes on I'll link it down below to talk about like I think a character named Anya and like some type of problematic background there I don't know that character so I, I didn't read that interview but I'll link it down below if you're interested and reading it and how these people even back in like 2009 or 2008 whatever this comic came out were trying to expand these spaces for more people to get into and I love that because here we are now in 2022 me sitting here talking about Dick Grayson's ass and I went and bought like $50 worth of comics yesterday I have two almost full boxes of comics sitting there and like all because people like Gail Simone's and Nicola Scott were trying to make this a more inclusive space for everybody um this is gonna come out on June 1st like well after Pride Month is over but I think it is still like pretty relevant to like talk about the fact that like we people and when I say we I mean marginalized people have been trying to just expand the spaces no one is trying to take over a space if that makes sense like no one was saying well in some ways <laughs> we should but like Gail Simone didn't like try and you know overwrite things that were already there she was trying to change it to be more inclusive to everybody we're expanding the universe not overwriting it if that makes sense and that's really what it is at the end of the day like no one's getting rid of Batman and no one's getting rid of who Dick Grayson is a kid from the circus who you know is growing up wants to be a superhero becomes a super you know what I mean no one is getting rid of those characters no one's getting rid of who Batman is we're just expanding the world and we're expanding it so more people can come to these comics and love reading these comics and wanting to be a part of both creation and reading and I think that is so important I hope that made sense I think that's really important it's crazy that all of this stemmed from Dick Grayson's ass of course like people have been doing this well before you know Dick Grayson's ass became a thing but the fact that Dick Grayson's ass was like a really big step in the movement to make comics more inclusive is crazy. Like, if I were to tell a random person on the street who, like, knows what DC Comics is and I were to just tell them the diversity we have in comics today that has been more diverse than ever is in big part to Dick Grayson Nightwing's ass. Would you believe me? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't believe me, but that's the rabbit hole I went down today. <laughs> and I'm so glad, like, comic book artists specifically are, like, keeping up with that trend. Like, I'm glad we didn't stop just because, like, they were like, oh, well, you drew him like that, but I'm not going to draw him like that. Like, uh, what's his name? Bruno Redondo, um, who is the artist, the main artist on the current, like, run of Nightwing right now. He gets me. He just gets me. I'm going to put in some B-roll of me showing the like Nightwing covers he gets me he he does he knows what the people want I need to find him on the social media and thank him personally because what I, he knows what the, he mm, look at this cover with him what like I me and him are on the same wavelength he just gets me he knows what he's fucking doing like he knows what he's doing my personal favorite is Nightwing 88 because look at that cover 
look at that oh I, it just equality that's what that is equality anyway the inside of it is also really good the story is really good if you been wanting to get into nightwing like or any superhero at comic book at all i think the newest run of nightwing issues that i think start at 80 i believe i could be dead wrong but they start in the 80s like not in the 80s like 1980s but like nightwing issue number 80 i think is i could be dead wrong i'll put it up on the screen though and that's the newest run with brendo brendo <laughs> brendo bruno redondo his like uh artistry in writing nightwing and it's oh it's been so good it's been so great a uh, little bit of a spoiler alert but like night nightwing ada i say that's my favorite like issue of the series so far it's because people are trying to kill dick grayson because he's using his money to like do good things in the world it's it's crazy but a very realistic plot um and all of like his superhero friends like come to protect him at this like grand opening ceremony whatever the fuck he's doing and oh co Corey's there oh starfire the flash is there it's it's great it's a great time you should absolutely pick up that comics um that was kind of off topic but you know why the fuck is he caked up <laughs> Like, if you're anything like me, when I started comics, you're probably gonna pick up a lot of comics that have really good, like, covers on them. And I learned very, very quickly that the covers aren't indicative of what's on the inside, if you know what I mean. Like, I... Mm, <laughs> Sometimes I think the original like plain covers are but the variant covers are almost always like not like indicative of what's on the inside so if you're like trying to you know judge a book by its cover good luck <laughs> good luck um I'm sure the Robins like series one day I'm gonna read through that series and probably make a video on it because I ooh. Anyway, the Robin series is very, very indicative of that. The Robin series, though, is is amazing, and you should read that, too. But anyway, back to Dick Grayson. Bless all of these artists. Bless uh, Bruno Redondo. He, we're on the fucking same, same fucking wavelength. <laughs> the this story was, like, so interesting. The story of Nightwing right now is also very interesting. Like I said, it's a very realistic plot where basically Nightwing is trying to, like, better bloodhaven with the inheritance that he got from pennyworth <sighs> i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it anyway it's really interesting you know when i'm not staring at dick grayson's juicy voluptuous fat ass anyway thank you for coming with me down this small little rabbit hole but like it took a sharp turn i didn't think it, this was gonna take like i had no idea that all of this was like a push in support of like inclusivity in comics like i really didn't and it's really interesting to think about there's so many of these small stories when you think of like of, of an artist of like oh why did you draw dick grayson with an ass and it's just because he would look good with an ass because he's a gymnast i don't know but i definitely wasn't expecting because comics need to be more inclusive that was not like the that was not the narrative i think thought that the story was going to go down at all <laughs> But I think it's pretty fucking cool nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way until the end. You are, you're, you're the best. You're the, if you watch this all the way into the end, you're the best because this is really new on my channel. And if you want to see more deep dive like videos about this, about anything, they don't have to be comic related. Just a deep dive video about anything internet fandom related. I would be glad to research it and do it. I was that bitch in school who liked doing research papers. I was... I was. It was fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you would like to see more of this, please let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.